Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise pursuant to standing order. Now, uh, I, I hereby present uh, standing order number 57 one, sorry. Mr. Speaker, sir, I hereby present uh, to the Senate the business of the House for the week commencing Tuesday, the 6th of June, 2023, pursuant to standing order number 57 one. Mr. Speaker, sir, as I highlighted in my statement on the Thursday, on Thursday, the 25th of May, 2023, there are important financial instruments which are pending consideration in the Senate. These are the County Allocation of Revenue Bill, Senate Bill Number 16 of 2023, the Equalization Fund Appropriation Bill, Senate Bill Number 3 of 2023, and the Equalization Fund Administration Bill, Senate Bill Number 14 of 2023. These financial instruments are critical for the operations of the county government and their expeditious consideration, passage and assent will facilitate county governments to finalize their budgets ahead of the commencement of the financial next financial in July uh, 2023. Mr. Speaker, that's a very important point and it's good that while I say this uh, stickler for the rule of law, Senator Umtata is here, you understand how counties are supposed to do budgets. Yet unfortunately, as a House, we cannot raise the requisite 24 delegations to pass uh, these particular uh, bills so that counties can then uh, book them onto their books and do them as a singular budget uh, for the counties that are qualified under equalization fund. Therefore, I want to request, uh, Mr. Speaker, that the whips, uh, the whip, I don't see the whip of the minority side, uh, I know Senator Boni is here, that we please do whatever we can to make sure that on Tuesday uh, next week, we take a vote on these very important uh, financial instruments, Mr. Speaker. I also urge colleague uh, senators to be present in the House, uh, Mr. Speaker, on that particular day, on many other uh, days. Mr. Speaker, you know, it's, uh, it's irony of life. During uh, uh, campaign periods, thousands of people fight to get a chance to represent others in Parliament and come to this House. Unfortunately, after people have granted you the opportunity to sit there and represent them on their behalf uh, and be there on their behalf, Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, you find empty benches in the, uh, and seats in uh, both houses of parliament. It's, it's something I, I, I have never understood, uh, Mr. Speaker. I therefore urge, uh, Mr. Speaker, that we be present on Tuesday so that we conclude on that very important business. Mr. Speaker, sir, in summary, out of the 33 bills, uh, published in the Senate, the following are pending considering, the following are pending uh, consideration. 19 are at second reading stage, uh, 5 are the committee of the whole, 2 of which are <coughs> listed in today's order paper at order number 10 and 11 for division. It's uh, rather obvious to everyone whether we'll have division on, or not, uh, Mr. Speaker. And uh, while a further 6 are undergoing concurrence, pursuant to standing, uh, no, to Article 110.3 of the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. Honorable Senators, from the foregoing, it is evident that the processing of bills is slow-paced. Contributing factors to this state of affairs include an availability of movers uh, to prosecute their business, lack of quorum, which I have addressed myself to, lack of sufficient county delegations, I have mentioned and said as much uh, this afternoon, uh, Mr. Speaker, I therefore cannot overemphasize the need for senators to provide to prioritize house business in the plenary, for movers of bills to be available in the chamber, and for senators to remain in the house until conclusion of business. It is also imperative for the majority and minority party whips to mobilize the requisite number of senators uh, for divisions on bills to be undertaken in a timely manner. Mr. Speaker, I'll point out that uh, 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 while this hasn't been done, I believe it will be done in the course of the day. Yesterday at the Senate Business Committee, we received a report, Mr. Speaker, a point-for-point -point comparison of how much business the previous Senate had transacted by this point uh, of their term, uh, Mr. Speaker. It mirrors almost word-for-word, -word, Mr. Speaker, that we have done equal work uh, in the last, uh, is it about nine, uh, nine, uh, nine months now, Mr. Speaker, of our existence, as compared to the previous Senate. Yet, Mr. Speaker, you know that the previous Senate, because of the disputed uh, presidential election, did not actually properly sit until uh, December of uh, 20, uh, 2017, Mr. Speaker. 
We have been in this house since September 2017, yet because of what I have just described, Mr. Speaker, we continue uh, to face these challenges. Uh, I, 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 I appeal to colleagues, senators, that please let us take the business of this house with the seriousness that it uh, deserves. The petitions process is gaining uh, prominence, Mr. Speaker, uh, whereupon members of the public are exercising their right under uh, Article 37 and 119 of the Constitution to submit prayers for the Senate to consider any matter within its authority. There are presently 19 petitions which have been referred to the various committees. This uh, is aside from the two that have, are, are listed to, in today's order paper. I urge respective standing committees to which these petitions have been referred to expedite consideration of the petitions and to table reports pursuant to standing order number 238. Uh, two. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I did mention earlier while commenting about petitions that uh, this is a continuous stamp of approval that members of the public give us as a house. The fact that they keep on sending petitions before this house, uh, sometimes even like today, Mr. Speaker, was quite significant. A matter that had been taken to the National Assembly wasn't properly resolved, found its way by way of petition by students of Kenyatta University, uh, Mr. Speaker, to this house. That's a stamp of approval. That's people saying that they believe in the Senate that we can dispense of this business. It's my hope, Mr. Speaker, sincere most of it, uh, that our colleagues who serve in the various committees will expeditiously consider those petitions and report the relevant business, Mr. Speaker. Not to mention the fact, Mr. Speaker, that Senator uh, Sige, on behalf of a citizen of this country, presented what I'll consider a class action petition, Mr. Speaker, uh, where an ordinary citizen is inviting this House to look into the operations of Corporations that are huge enough perhaps even uh, to look the other way in terms of their obligations and not have any of our state agencies uh, nab them on their bad practices. But the citizen believes that this Senate has men and women of integrity, that this Senate has a power, uh, Mr. Speaker, and the we are with all that is needed to take on this institution and uh, give justice to the people of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, there are 22 motions uh, on diverse topics which are also pending for consideration. I urge the respective movers, uh, Mr. Speaker, of these motions to be in the chamber whenever they are scheduled in the order paper. It's unfortunate, Mr. Speaker. I know that this, your, uh, the substantive speaker gave communication uh, a few weeks ago, Mr. Speaker, on what happens to motions that are called upon and their movers are not uh, present in the House. We thought that that will at least encourage people who bring motions to this House to be seated. But I know that many of them continue to be dropped. Perhaps even many others will be dropped just a few minutes after I'm done with this uh, uh, statement, Mr. Speaker, for the simple reason that somebody has proposed a motion, but they don't have the time to either be present or at least write to the Speaker and inform them of the reason for their absence and why they prefer that that matter be deferred, Mr. Speaker. I, uh, I cannot even address myself more than that on that particular. On matters of questions, at its meeting held on Tuesday, uh, 30th May 2023, the SBC approved the fifth set of questions uh, to be scheduled in the order paper for Wednesday, 14th June 2023 morning sittings. Uh, the questions which include a question by Senator for Laikipia uh, to the Cabinet Secretary for in Interior on uh, security situations in both Laikipia and uh, the North Reef region, uh, Mr. Speaker, a further one by the same senator uh, to the same minister on the administration con uh, uh, on the minister for interior on concerning the rampant abuse of ketamine, uh, Mr. Speaker. There's also a question by Senator Said Chute of Masabit uh, to the minister for ASAL and regional development concerning state of tendering for relief food in the country. A very important statement, Mr. Speaker. There's a further question by the same senator to CS for Trade and Investment on concerning pre-qualification of companies to import commodities by KNTC, Kenya National Trading uh, Company. Of course, Mr. Speaker, I know when we began this uh, business of uh, question time uh, to cabinet sectors, our colleagues from the minority side had their misgivings about the process, but I'm glad to note that uh, increasingly as this process has uh, uh, gone on, I see many of them show up on Wednesday morning, including none other than uh, the leader of minority and a few other senators that I saw this morning, actually, and they participated in asking questions 
to ministers directly here on the floor on issues touching on their specific uh, counties, Mr. Speaker. I believe, uh, as is the course of politics, Mr. Speaker, somehow some things always resolve themselves. I hope that that matter will uh, stand resolved and we shall carry on together as a Senate and have an opportunity uh, to ask uh, ministers. I have seen also, Mr. Speaker, something which I do not complain about because it's not in my business to complain. And when the ministers eventually complain to me, uh, I'll pass uh, blame back to you on the expanded um, interpretation of what supplementary questions are. If you're in the session today, Mr. Speaker, you know that both cabinet ministers that appeared here answered a completely new set of questions separate from uh, what had been asked, but I'm glad that they handled it uh, well. Mr. Speaker, of course, you know they say the famous or the infamous story about the camel and the tent, uh, Mr. Speaker, where it asked for just an opportunity to put in uh, the head alone, Mr. Speaker. And uh, you know subsequently what eventually uh, happened. I guess that's what this parliament can do with this question time to our uh, ministers, Mr. Speaker. Of course, the minute, once they are here, if there is a matter of national, great national importance, Mr. Speaker, for we cannot sweep it under the carpet and just say, uh, because it was not a previously asked question, it's not something worth considering, Mr. Speaker. I believe as a House, we have the power to ask that particular cabinet minister, what exactly are they doing about that particular matter? So we celebrate you as uh, senators, uh, Mr. Speaker, for allowing that latitude for colleagues to uh, raise issues with ministers, issues that touch on the people that they represent in this House, uh, Mr. Speaker. As indicated in the order paper number 12, I will shortly move a motion for the suspension of the morning sitting on Wednesday the 7th of June, Mr. Speaker, so as to avail the opportunity for members of Parliament, including senators, including Mr. Speaker, to participate in the national uh, prayer breakfast. This is an annual event uh, convened by Parliament, uh, just for the sake of it, because maybe there are people who uh, may hold different views. Uh, you will ha uh, have to know Senator Catherine Muma that uh, because bipartisan is a vogue word, this is a bipartisan event, uh, just for your comfort. Otherwise, uh, there are people who maybe think they may want, not want to show about it. This is one uh, occasion that as members of parliament, together with the executive, we tolerate each other and pray, uh, hope that the prayers can intervene and uh, solve some of the problems uh, that we continue to face. Of course, there is an uh, all-important uh, ritual that on many occasions, Mr. Speaker, uh, we are allowed to sing uh, and present a hymn. Because of the very uh, blessed Senator Crystal Asige, uh, Mr. Speaker, I suggest that on Tuesday, maybe at 4 o'clock, she can organize so that we practice the, the hymn that we are going to uh, sing on that particular day. It is embarrassing to sing with our colleagues from the National Assembly. Senate can do a better job on its own. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, with your permission, I hope uh, uh, Senator Crystal Asige is properly briefed on that uh, particular matter, Mr. Speaker. Finally, Mr. Speaker, uh, on Tuesday, the 6th of June, 2023, SBC will consider and approve business of the day. This will contain business that will not have been concluded from the order paper uh, today, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, we will guide the same. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, I wish on all honorable senators a happy Madaraka Day tomorrow, being 1st June, 2023. I thank you, uh, colleague senators, and hereby lay the statement on the table of the Senate. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Majority Tirinda. As you have already indicated, and you see now we cannot transact uh, several businesses here because we have no numbers to go to division. Therefore, business appearing as under number 8, 9, 10, and 11 are defined. We go to order number 12. Order number 12, motion, suspension of the morning sitting of the Senate on Wednesday, 7th June, 2023. Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg to move this uh, motion uh, in an amended form that notwithstanding the resolutions of the Senate made on the 16th of February 2023 and 29th March 2023, pursuant to the standing order number 32 on approval of the Senate cal calendar regular sessions for the second session 2023, 
and further notwithstanding the provision of standing order, order number 341, the Senate resolves to suspend its morning sittings on Wednesday the 7th of June 2023. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, the reason, um, the reason I moved the motion in an amended format is because previously when I gave the notice of motion, it was assumed that that uh, prayer session actually was to happen uh, uh, today actually, uh, Mr. Speaker, but because of uh, many other uh, reasons. Uh, it couldn't be undertaken. It has been moved to next week, uh, Mr. Speaker. Like I have mentioned, I served in PSE, Mr. Speaker, and I know that Parliament is a significant contributor, actually. From our own accounts as Parliament, we fund this particular event, and therefore, and we sit together. Of course, there is uh, chairmanship. I think Senator Dan Manzo is one of the co-chairs. Uh, alongside, I'm not sure who uh, serves as a, as a co-chair from the National Assembly in the planning and putting together this event. Therefore, it is important Mr. Speaker, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, for members uh, to find time and attend to this function. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I want to request the House to agree with me in this procedural motion that we suspend our sittings on that Wednesday morning and then uh, we shall resume later on in the afternoon, Mr. Speaker, after the prayers. Mr. Speaker, I beg to move and request uh, Senator uh, Rafael Chimera to second. Senator Chimera. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to second the motion by the majority leader. This is a very, very, very important function nationally. As you 